This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by GoToMeeting. No, I'm not John Rettinger with a better haircut and a worse voice. I'm Noah Kravitz sitting in for John who is recuperating from his week in New Orleans covering CTIA. If you missed any of our coverage, John and Todd were there all week, so check it out. Oh, and by the way, to the person who asked about Random Up Woohoo on that other show I do, no, nobody makes me do it. You don't like it if enough people like me, maybe I'll find a new tagline. I don't know, it's just for fun. Let's get to Joe. Joe says, hi Noah, I'm from Australia. My contract is finishing up tomorrow. I'm in need of a new phone. I'm going to get the iPhone 4S. Do you think the iPhone 5 will be released next month at WWDC? No, Joe, I do not. I think we'll see iOS 6, but I don't think we will see a new iPhone until probably October, maybe September of this year. Apple is pretty good about making sure that at least their last generation or two of iPhones run the current software. So you should be covered if you get an iPhone 4S, if that makes any sense. There might be a feature or two on the new iPhone that the iPhone 4S won't have, you know, like Siri. 4S has Siri, the 4 does not, and 1080 HD video recording. But uh, otherwise, I think you should be fine. It's more a matter of, are you gonna be jealous of the new hardware? if you lock yourself into a two-year contract. Considering you're gonna be waiting not until June, but July, August, September, October, four, probably five months. I mean, in the tech world, it's always like the longer you wait, the newer the gear you're gonna get when it comes out. So you've, and with Apple especially, they're not gonna release another iPhone for another year, most likely. So if you can wait till the five comes out, do it. All right, Felipe Venturium on Twitter. He asks, should I buy a BlackBerry Bold 9900 or wait for the new BB10 devices later this year? You should absolutely wait. BB10 is the future of the platform, whether that future is sink or swim. If BB10, if the BB10 devices, when they come out later this year, are not any good, or if they're significantly delayed, then BlackBerry is done. If they are good, BlackBerry still might be done, but at least, you know, the BlackBerry user base will get reinvigorated and enterprise users who were thinking about maybe, you know, jumping ship, leaving BlackBerry, going to iPhone or Android, maybe they'll stick around a little while. I still know plenty of people, they're executive types who travel a lot, who swear by BlackBerry and wouldn't use anything else. All right, maybe not plenty, but I know a few. So Felipe, if you actually absolutely have to get a new phone right away, get something off contract. Pick up an older model BlackBerry, you know, get it used, I don't know, eBay or Craigslist, or uh, there's a store about two miles from my house that sells them. If you're in my area, if you're in my area, come on, we'll, we'll go out. We'll get a cup of coffee. I'll, I'll show you where to get a phone. All right, we're going to go to work from our sponsor. You get the idea. Let's hear a few words from GoToMeeting. We develop trust in the people we know, but we don't really get to know people if we can't see them. That can be a tough hurdle in business with clients and employees all over the globe. That's why I recommend GoToMeeting with HD Faces. It offers a simple online meeting service with group HD video and helps you get better connect to the people your business depends on. With GoToMeeting by Citrix, it just takes a webcam and a click to instantly collaborate with your team or clients in real time from anywhere in the world. And you can even do it on the go with an iPad. GoToMeeting helps build trust and confidence and makes meetings that much more effective. Believe me, when you work in an organization like Techno Buffalo, where you've got colleagues scattered literally all over the globe, both coasts of the US, everywhere in between, the English countryside, South Korea, Canada, all over the place, let alone all the PR people and even readers that we interact with, you depend on online meeting and collaboration services. That's why something like GoToMeeting with HD Faces is so great. Start hosting your own face-to-face -face online meetings today with GoToMeeting. Techno Buffalo viewers can try it free for 30 days with this special offer. Just go to gotomeeting.com, click on try it free, and use the promotion code at tech Techno to get your free 30-day trial of GoToMeeting with HD Faces. FH Master 0801 on Twitter wants to know, what smartphones and tablets do you, Noah and John, actually use? John, last I knew, was using the Galaxy Note. I know he rocks an iPad. I know he's also a fan of the uh, Asus Transformer. As for me, right now, I've gone back to using Apple. I was a big fan of Windows Mobile, but they didn't have some, some apps, video chat, and some other stuff that I, I relied on, so I went back to the iPhone. So I'm using uh, an iPhone 4. Not the 4S, but a 4. This is in a Griffin case right now. And then uh, I've got the new iPad. I'm actually using it a lot more than I used my first generation iPad. I never got iPad 2. I'm starting to get into using the iPad now. It's pretty amazing. It has nothing against any of the other platforms, just that's what I'm personally using. Yeah, I'll tell you what, my ultimate phone right now, I think, 
would be iOS running on an HTC One S. I love that hardware, the One S. It's so thin. One of the things I don't like about this iPhone is I have to keep it in a case because the glass is just too crack and, and shatter prone. But the One S, I love that the metal uh, by the anodized, what did they do to it? They laser poof a foo food it and has a little bit larger screen than the iPhone does. So I would love to have iOS running on that hardware. Alas, that's not the case. So I'm sticking with my iPhone 4 for now. Camaro Demon asks, what's up Noah? I was wondering, cause I'm in the market to buy a new TV. Do you think I should get a TV with Google TV on it? Or should I wait for Apple to bring out their TV? LG is coming out with some new Google TV models. Google TV never really took off. The uh, second gen refresh, new software, to me much easier to use than the first generation, but still never really took off. If I was buying a new TV right this second, I would just pick the best TV and then spend 100 to 150 bucks on either an Apple TV or an Xbox 360. Microsoft has really stepped up the offerings in terms of streaming video and music content, movie rentals, TV show rentals, that kind of stuff. And then uh, of course it's got all of the, you know, Netflix, YouTube, all that stuff. So it's really a great device. And then it's a killer game console on top of all that. Or, you know, the Apple TV route. I don't like the new version of the software, but I still think it's a great device. Or you could pick up a Google TV set-top box on the cheap, uh, cause they're cheap right now. If you can find them, one of those old Logitech boxes or a Sony box with the Blu-ray built in, I would say just buy a TV set, get a set-top box separately. And then, you know, if Apple does come out with something, you can always, you can always sell that stuff. You take a little hit, but just think of it as like renting the stuff for a few months. All right, I'm gonna go rest my voice because I sound terrible. John will be back next week. Thanks for all your questions. Keep them coming again on the website or via Twitter, hashtag AskTheBee. Until next time, my name is Noah Kravitz for Techno Buffalo, wearing my executive hoodie, Going on the road, IPO Roadshow. No, not yet. More on my hoodie. See you later. Bye bye. So, by the way, RIP, rest in peace, Carol Shelby. Carol Shelby died last Friday. I believe he was 90 years old. He was, this wasn't totally unexpected. You know, he was sick and, and up there in the years. But still, I don't know, for a fledgling car geek by myself, um, something to take notice of because uh, the new Mustangs. Pretty cool. There's at least one person in the Revision 3 office who drives one of those newer Mustangs. You know who you are, man, and I still want to drive your car.